The problem wants us to determine which one of the students answered the problem correctly. And we have to remember we're dealing with properties of exponents. So we're going to start off with the easier answer choices of Alice and Sharon. So we know Alice says 5 to the third times 5 to the 1 over 3 power is equal to 5. But when you think of 5 to the third, if we rewrote this as a fraction with a common base of 3, this would be 5 to the 9 over 3 power times 5 to the 1 third power. When we simplify and get 10 over 3, this is not going to be equal to 5. So that's incorrect. When we go to the second answer choice, right, we're talking about sharing 5 to the 2 over 3 times 5 to the 1 third is equal to 5. When we add our exponents, we're going to get 5 to the 3 over 3 power, which is basically 5 to the first power. So we know sharing is going to be correct. And because sharing is correct, I'm also going to look at Alberto's answer. But let's look at Rocio's first. So when we look at Rocio, the cube root of 125 is just 5. So we have 5 to the first power, which is the same thing as 3 over 3 times 5 to the 1 third. This is not going to be equal to 5. We're going to have 5 to the 4 over 3 power is equal to 5. And this would also be incorrect. Now, when we look at our last answer choice, which is going to be Alberto, remember that when we write 25 to the 1 third power, we could rewrite this with a base of 5. So 25 to the 1 third is the same thing as 5 squared to the 1 third power. When we simplify this further, we're going to get 5 to the 2 thirds power, meaning that once we multiply 5 to the 1 third, we'll get 5 to the 3 over 3 power, which is the same thing as just 5. So not only is Sharon right, but Alberto is also correct. And we also have to make sure we check off Alberto and Sharon so that we properly get this question solved.